<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and I know this seems to be a bit of a surprise, uh, but I'm going to be showing you all, if you have a 1.76 PlayStation 4, how you can get started with the PS4 WebKit Playground exploit. So it's specifically, you know, the WebKit exploit that will allow you to uh, launch code and such uh, and get kernel access and, you know, do some modifications here and there. Uh, there's not a whole ton we can do, but there is some fun stuff that we can try out on here. And I'm going to show you all how you can get started if you just got this PS4 it's on lower firmware and you don't know what to do. So first off, what I would recommend doing, I'm not going to show this process here because it's, it's quite simple, extremely easy to do, and you can find plenty of guides online. If it's on a firmware lower than 1.76, download a 1.76 firmware update and update your system to 1.76. If you're on a firmware that is higher, this tutorial, at least right here for the time being, is not going to work. Now, I know at the time of this recording and by the time this goes out, there's been quite a bit of talk and maybe even releases of exploits on higher firmwares and such. So here's what we'll do. If this is the same setup and everything for, let's say, a higher firmware exploit, then, you know, everything can remain the same. However, if a new exploit comes out and it is different compared to the 1.76 install, I'll make an updated video. But regardless, this is how we're going to do this. So what I did was, aside from Grand Theft Auto 5 on here, this is a new PS4. Uh, I did reinitialize it, so the drive has been wiped, aside from, you know, of course, that game installed. So if you're on 1.76, this is what you're going to do. First off, make sure your PS4 is not connected online. Uh, do not plug in. Don't connect it to your Wi-Fi. Uh, don't plug it into uh, the internet or anything. I'm going to be doing a hard line on here, and we're going to want to change a few settings. First off, you want to go over to your settings. And then he wants to go all the way down to system. He wants to go to automatic downloads and uploads and uncheck both of these. That way your PS4 will not try and connect online. I mean it will, but it's not going to try and download the latest firmware update. So now that we've unchecked those, it will not download any updates. Now that we have that, that's really the only thing we need to do to make sure we're good on that. So now you want to go in and set up your PS4 online. So I'm just going to connect my PS4 real quick to the internet. So once you have your internet all set up on here, I plugged mine in, or if you're going to be doing Wi-Fi, uh, I'll at least show you what I'm doing. I'm going to go over to network, make sure you can connect to the internet, and I'm going to set up an internet connection. I'm going to use a LAN cable, do easy, it's going to wait for this, and once it connects, we can also even test the internet connection just to make sure that we can connect out of here. So as you can see, all that's done. Now what you want to do is go back, go to view connection status, and where it says IP address, you want to document that address somewhere. So as you can see, mine is 192.168.1.157. Make sure you have that on hand, and once you have that, we should be ready to rock. So now what your first instinct is, is probably to go over to the internet browser. However, we run into a major issue. Sign into PSN to use network features. We can't sign into PSN because we'd have to update, and if we update, we can't use the exploit. So I'm going to show you what we can do. So first off, you can set up a rule in your router to uh, route any traffic from manuals.playstation.net to the uh, PS4 Playground website. However, I'm not going to be doing it on here, mostly because my router is just a really funky way of doing that. Uh, but you can find, you know, tutorials and such online to do it for your specific router. But I'm going to show you how to do it on here. Now, what we need to do is we need to access the web, the web browser. To do that, we need to go to Settings, Users Guide, and it's going to take us to manuals.playstation.net. Now, this is what we're going to need to do here. Uh, I'm also going to warn you that this does change a little bit, so our end goal is going to be to get to google.com, but we can't do that naturally. So what I'm going to do for this, I'm just going to make this full screen so you all can see. I'm going to go over to support, and it's going to bring up this page right here, and it's going to say that, you know, the security cannot be confirmed. Go ahead and hit yes, and it's going to look like this page isn't loading, but what you can do is you can go to this Salesforce disabling TLS 1.0 and it's going to bring you to a site that talks all about Salesforce. Once this loads up, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom. You have to use the right stick for that. And again, our goal is here to get to Google. So what we're going to need to do is find some social media links. Now, when you come over here, well, it's kind of all boggled up and stuff, but oh, right here, you're going to look Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google Plus. So I'm going to click on Google Plus right there and wait for this to come in. Now, when you come over to this page, any page on Google+, you want to go over to the corner and hit sign in. Once that happens, you want to go down to the bottom left corner and hit about Google. 
and this is just my way of doing it at least. You might have another way, but again, we just need to go to google.com. That is our end game. So now that we have all this right here, we need to scroll down to the bottom of the page again and click on help. And once this comes up, we need to hit Google. And look at that, we ended up hitting Google. So now it's just telling me, you know, how to enter in text and all that, because again, I end up resetting my PS4 for this tutorial, but we're gonna look up PS4 Playground. There's also an IP you can look up directly for this. However, I'm just looking up PS4 Playground due to the fact that honestly, if you look up the IP itself, there's going to be so many references to the IP address that you won't actually be able to get to the site itself. And right here, there's this one, cturt.github.io slash PS4 Playground. We want to go to the cturt website and wait for this to load up. And as you can see right here, we have found the WebKit exploit website itself. So what we need to do here is we need to press go at code execution. And this might not work the first time you do it, or you might have to reload the page or whatever it is. So even I could try and refresh this right here by just hitting uh, options and going to refresh. But the point is you need to get this started right here. If this doesn't start for you the first time, you might need to just restart your PS4 and go through this process again. I know it's a lengthy process, but trust me, once we get this sorted, we are only gonna have to do this one time and then you won't have to go through this hoop again. All right, so what I did was I just restarted my PS4, did that whole process again, and I'm going to PS4 Playground. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit go. And as you can see, that is what we were expecting. So some Sometimes if this doesn't work, just restart your PS4 and it should be fine. But you want to hit go and where it says code execution stage waiting for payload, that is exactly what we're looking for. Now don't touch your PS4 yet, what we're going to do is go over to our computer. Now what you want to do when you're here, you want to go down to the link in the description for PSX hacks and there is this page right here that is the PS4 1.76 payload packet. I'm recommending this because this is a very good starter packet to use, uh, but what you can do is is find the download for PS4 1.76 payload packet that will have the starter stuff that you need. You're gonna download this through the mega link right here. And even after this, once you learn how to do this from the tutorial, you can go over to the exploit patches and payloads and you can download even more if you want to so you can play around with this. But this is showing you how to initially get started. So just go ahead and download that RAR file. Once you have the RAR file, you want to right click, extract it right here, and then go into the folder and you're gonna have a few bin files, a few bat files, and a few exe files now for each one of these bat files what we're going to need to do is let's say right click uh, let's uh, do this with activate internet browser which i highly recommend you all do first right click edit with notepad plus plus and right here where it has 192.168.xxx you want to edit this to be your ip so mine is 1.157 that is the ps4's ip now i'm going to exit out of that Make sure it's saved, of course, and you're going to have to do that with the rest of the bat files. So what you can even do is I'm just going to do this since I have uh, Notepad++. I'm going to edit all of them and don't copy the entire string because it's a different bin file for each one. But you want to just copy and paste this on each one right here. So save that, save that, well, after we do that and do the same thing right here. And this is just so it will make it easier for you and you can run the bat files, you know, not not all at once but back to back if you really want to um, although it might be best to kind of restart and just you know recache your ps4 in that process the point is right here uh, now we're going to run one of these bat files i'm bringing up the ps4 on display so you all can see that as well but the first one we're going to run is activate internet browser which all you need to do is double click this it's going to bring up this command prompt window briefly and then it's going to disappear now if you look over at your ps4 it's going to go to stage executing and you just want to wait for that to finish up now just warning you that this could take a few minutes it could take even like up to five minutes or so i'm not sure why it takes so long but it could take a decent amount of time uh, so just wait for this and chill out for a bit so here's the thing once this is done you're either going to get a few things it might reset back to its original status or it might say there is not enough free system memory which if it does this just hit okay that's fine exit out of here but try the internet browser and as you can see the internet browser actually works so what i'd recommend you do is press triangle go to the search bar Again, look up PS4 Playground, which I have them right there, and go to the PS4 Playground by CTURT. Now, I'd also recommend hitting Options, go to Add Bookmark, so you have that right there, and that's about it. So, as you can see, we can now open up our internet browser with no issue, well, as long as this thing doesn't want to freeze up. 
but we could not do that before. And now even if you restart your PS4, that will be right there, so it is completely unlocked, the payload has done that for us. Now if you want to, you can run all those other payload files, like for example, you know, FTP server, debug settings, and you could do this with other payload files as well too. In the case of any other payload file, this is really easy. What you want to do is you want to download any bin file, you copy and you paste it in a folder that has this nc.exe. And then you want to take just one of these bat files and make a copy of it right there. And then all you really need to do is right click this, Make sure it's nc-w3, your IP address, keep 9023 the same. And for the bin file, you just want to rename this to whatever your payload is. So for example, payload.bin, you hit save, and then at that point, all you really need to do is run that bat file for the payload that you have. So again, you could use this for anything else, but I did this just to show you all how to get the web browser up and running and working. So now you just need to go to your internet browser and that's it. You don't have to do that whole, you know, step through process that we had to do prior. Anyways, thank you all for watching everyone, hope this video helped you all out, and I want to make a few mentions on here as well too. First of all, huge shout out to these two guys, Grimdo and Pixelbutts, they actually helped me out a little bit with, you know, when I was asking some stupid questions in regards to, you know, getting the PS4 and then what to do and such, uh, they were, you know, patient enough to answer my questions, so huge shout out to you two to helping me out. On top of that, I'd also like to know what you guys would be interested in as well, so if there is something on 1.76 that you would like to see or you'd like a tutorial on, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll try and make that possible. If there's going to be, you know, new exploitable firmwares and new exploits on these firmwares, then I'm definitely going to try and make videos on those as well too if I have it within my means. Uh, one thing here, if, if you could have guessed from Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial here shortly showing you all how to run a mod menu on Grand Theft Auto 5, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone.